Judd, well done. Five two win this evening against Dave Gibbard. Just give us your thoughts on that one. It was tricky, I think. The, the whole tournament, I've not played my best. Um, uh, I just managed to kind of get the wins. Uh, it looked comfortable, but yeah, I've, been, I've been struggling. I uh, feel ill as well. So it's just about um, battling through the, through the rounds. I think this is kind of the, the complete contrast to Shanghai, where I was feeling fully fit and playing, playing well. I've just had to, to grind it out. So I think just... Um, sheer determination is, is kind of driving me through and hopefully um, I can feel a bit better tomorrow. In a weird way is that also a positive that when you're not playing your best you can grind out you can get through Ronnie said earlier he doesn't feel like he's played his best but you and him were obviously always able to, to get the to get the job done in the end. Yeah I think over the past season or two I think both of us have kind of just found a way to win to, to get through those tough games so I think on, on paper it looks like nobody's getting close to me, but I haven't <laughs> played well at all really this week, and um, it may be a little bit flattering. So I know that I need to improve if I'm obviously to go on and, and win the semi-final. But uh, for me nowadays, it's all about giving myself just one more chance, rather than go all out attack and um, maybe be on the way home. So I've learned to maybe grind out the odd game here and there, and hopefully I can find my my form as the tournament goes on. But what does that look like, that sort of grinding it out? Explain it for, for us, perhaps casual fans. How different is that from your normal style, how you normally play? I think, obviously, the conditions dictate um, how you're going to play. I think you've probably seen that the, there's not been that many big breaks this week. It's, it's been a bit of a struggle. Um, and everyone's had to be patient. So I think you know you're going to miss a lot more easy balls. I had a chance at 3-1 um, to go 4-1. and. It's just about trying to put that to the back of your mind. I think in these kind of conditions, it's all about who's probably the strongest mentally and, and able to deal with the, the mistakes more than usual. Dave Gilbert, a player who seems to be sort of trending in upwards direction again now, had a really good back end last season with his run at the Worlds and again obviously started this season well. What, what were your thoughts heading into the match against him, a player so this seems on the way up again? I mean, he's tricky to play because he, he's so uh, attacking. He, he barely plays any safety at all really and that's always been his game. Um, I think there was obviously a, a couple of times where maybe he could have kept it safe and maybe he would have gone on to win the game. I, I think uh, sometimes he maybe just goes for one ball too many. He, he nearly pulled off a miraculous clearance in one of the frames. Um, but overall, maybe just probably the, the shot selection maybe let him down a little bit. In terms of your consistency, I think that's nine wins on the bounce this season already, of course. We spoke about last season so much. It was a fantastic year for you. What is it that you're doing so well at the minute to, to be able to not just play well? Obviously, you said you're not playing your best this week, but just to win consistently and, and, and stay, as you said, on paper above the rest. Uh, I think I just want to win more than anyone else. I, I'm willing to put the work in more than anyone else. I think I see a lot of people taking time off and turning up with excuses and I don't, I don't want to be that person. I want to go and practice every, every single day, every opportunity. Uh, I want to be the best in the world. I want to win every single event I play in. So um, you only get one career and, and there's no point of, of wasting time taking days off. I just want to be as successful as possible and, and that means giving every single tournament 100%. Daniel Wells in the, the semis, Jody beat Barry Hawkins. Thoughts on, on that one coming up against him? Yeah, I mean, a bit of a surprise package, but I think Daniel was someone that I, I grew up with and played a lot, um, someone that I've practised with many times, and uh, I think he's obviously had his spells on and off the tour, but I think he's someone that is, is more than good enough to kind of sustain his standard, and um, it's, it's obviously nice for him. Um, I'm, I'm friendly with him. It's nice to, to see him in a semi-final, but um, the friendships kind of go out of the window when you're at this stage, so um, yeah, it'd be a tricky game. And lastly, a win in the semi-finals would take you into the final, which would take you back up to the, the world number one spot. You'd be level with Mark Allen, but on count back, you'd, you'd get there, I believe. So that, again, at this early stage of the season, must be a, a fantastic sort of achievement if you get there, but something that you're really determined to do. Yeah, I think it's, it's something that um, I kind of wore with pride for the time I was, was number one. I think it inspired me. I, I really felt like I was the best. And at the moment, I think with my last season and how I started this season I, I feel that that would be justified I feel like I've, I've really earned it um, by winning 
more tournaments than anyone else. So I think um, obviously it's difficult with the, the prize money and some of the events being a lot more, but I just feel like consistently over the past two years, I, I feel like maybe I've played the best stuff. So it'd be a nice feeling to get back there. It would, and hopefully you're feeling better tomorrow as well. All the best, mate. Cheers, thank you.